take a shot every time I say I listen to audiobooks because you'll be very drunk by the end of this. <laughs> The way that COVID is leaving my body right now. And it says, I am in a, in a mid- Hey besties, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm bringing to you the reader habit tag. This is a pretty old tag. I saw it going around last year. I saw a few people doing it. And I kind of put it aside as something I wanted to do in the future. And I just never got around to it. It's been forever since I did like a sit down tag. I will link all the questions and whoever created this down below. But yeah, I just thought it would be fun to sort of just like sit down, talk about my habits as a reader. And yeah, so let's just get into the tag. Question number one is, do you have a certain place at home you like to read? And for that answer, Answer, I would have to say my bed. This is where the magic happens. As many of you know, I mostly listen to audiobooks, and if I am listening to an audiobook at home, it's probably definitely here. And I'm probably playing a mobile game on my phone or playing my Nintendo Switch and just lay in here. I love to lay down. My chiropractor tells me not to lay down as much as I do, but I always tell her laying down is my favorite position. That's what she said or he said. But I will say because I listen to mostly audiobooks, I do listen to books a lot in my car and then also when I'm doing chores around the house I'll wear my airpods and just kind of walk around and listen. Just audiobook bitch things. Question number two is bookmark or random piece of paper. I will say when I am physically reading a book I would love 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 to sit here and be like yeah I'm a bookmark bitch like I just have a collection of bookmarks and I'm just like so organized and I always use a bookmark but if we're being really honest with ourselves I'm probably using either a receipt or a piece of trash that I found on one of my nightstands and just shoving that motherfucker into the book like I do have some nice bookmarks like that friends have given me like I have this metal one that has a quote from Hamilton on it honestly if I knew where it was, I would show you guys. I found it. It's just this like metal bookmark that my friend Katie got me from Etsy. It has this little tassel on it and it says, I am inimitable, I am an original, which is a line from the song Wait For It from Hamilton, one of my favorite songs, and I just love it. And it's a super cute bookmark, but so you would think that I would use this, but I'm honestly probably just using a random piece of paper, like a tag or something. And that's unfortunate, but that is who I am as a person. And also, let's be honest, I'm mostly listening to audiobooks, so. Question number three is, can you just stop reading randomly or do you need to wait to the end of a chapter or after a certain number of pages? And for me, because I listen to audiobooks and I'm usually doing that like when I'm multitasking, I basically can just stop whenever. Like I'm very good at just like being in the middle of reading and then I need to switch what I'm doing and then I just stop. Like if I'm driving and I arrive to the store that I'm going to or like to my boyfriend's house, I'm just literally like, pause, let's go inside. Not trying to brag, but I do have a freakishly good memory. So I typically know what's going on in a book. So if I stop at a random point, it's not going to be hard to pick it back up. When a book makes me forget what's going on, that's how you know it's a bad book where I'm just literally like, I don't know. I am the type of person that if we ever meet, I'm probably going to remember what you said, what you were wearing, like what, what we were doing. And it's gotten me kind of in some awkward spots before. Like sometimes I'll run into someone and I'll be like, remember that time that you said this thing? And then they just think I'm creepy. And it's really unfortunate. But it's very good for books because I have friends who tell me that after they read a book, they literally don't retain any information. And that's very sad. Question number four is, do you eat or drink while reading? And my answer to this is yes, because I mostly listen to audiobooks. That's literally going to be the thing I repeat forever in this video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Weirdly though, I kind of prefer watching things when I'm eating. So if I'm like eating lunch or dinner, I'm probably watching a YouTube video or a show on Netflix or something. And yeah, but if I'm like really in the throes of a book, I will eat while I'm reading it. When I physically read, no. I can eat like snacks like sometimes, but typically I feel like when I'm physically reading, I really have to like hone in on the book and I can't really multitask. So and I don't really like to get the pages dirty, so it's a whole thing. Although I did get a Kindle recently, and I don't really know what my answer is to with my Kindle. I feel like I might eat when I use my Kindle, because I wouldn't be worried about the paper. Things to ponder. Question number five is multitasking. Do you listen to music or TV while reading? And to this I say, what kind of sicko watches TV while reading a book? Like, how would you ever be able to pay attention to what you're reading or listening to and also pay attention to TV. I could see someone like listening to music that has no words, like a soundtrack or classical music while they read, but I don't know how any bitches would be watching a TV show. Like that's actually like menacing behavior, like call the police on those people. Like how are you doing that? That's witchcraft. I already kind of said this, but when I listen to audiobooks, I do multitask all the time. I'm typically driving, doing the dishes, taking my dog for a walk. Like I do multitask for that, but that makes sense because I'm listening. But like if I was physically reading, I could never multitask. Like this bitch would just be laying right there, like 
turning the pages, just like, no, I could not multitask if I was physically reading. Question number six is one book or several at a time. And to this I say, I typically only read one book, but if I am mixing mediums, so like if I am reading a physical book, I can also listen to an audiobook because obviously the times that I would be listening to an audiobook are not the times that I would be reading a physical book, if that makes any sense. Like if I'm driving, I'm not gonna physically read. Like I said, I did get a Kindle recently, so I probably will start having like an ebook that I'm reading as well as an audiobook that I'm listening to, and then I'll probably be something that I keep going. I am in the middle of an ebook actually. I did start one. So actually, literally as we speak, I have listen to books while I'm physically reading one. I probably should get back to finishing that ebook. It's been a while. I started it like around Christmas. Question number seven is reading at home or everywhere. And my answer to this is everywhere. Like if I was physically reading audiobook, whatever, I love having something to kind of take my mind off what I'm doing. Like if I'm walking around Target, I'm going to be listening to a book. Like if I was waiting in the waiting room for the doctor, I would listen to an audiobook or I would read a physical book. Like this bitch does not like her mind to not be occupied. So I definitely would read anywhere. Question number eight is reading out loud or silently in your head. And to this, I also have to say what people out there are reading out loud. I'm not saying that I don't sometimes, like if I'm stumbling over a word or I want it to make sense that I won't read a sentence out loud, like I've totally done that before, but literally reading paragraphs out loud to yourself, I don't think I would do that now. I did recently have my boyfriend read a lot of my ebook out loud to me to the point where he read a couple of pages and then he was like, hey, when you finish that book, can you tell me what happens because he got kind of interested. But beyond like reading aloud, if someone else was there, no. Like I don't mean to offend anyone if that's what you like to do, but I just would feel really weird if I like had a book in front of me and I was just like speaking out loud into the room. Maybe if I was like reading to my dog, I don't know. I will say that I do respond out loud if I am frustrated with something in a book. Like I was recently reading The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas and every time Miss Girl wrote a line about the love interest's blue eyes, I groaned out loud. I was like, oh my God, stop. I don't know if talking to yourself is worse than reading out loud. I'm not sure. Question number nine is, do you read ahead or skip pages? And to that I say, no. Unless I really didn't like a book and I was trying to get to the end because I hated it so much, I would literally never skip ahead in a book. Like, I feel like that's like heresy. I, that doesn't feel like how you should read a book. Now, if I have a physical book in front of me, have I accidentally, in an attempt to see how many pages there are, spoiled myself for things? Yeah, I've done that before. I have to be really careful, actually, when I'm physically reading a book because I have a tendency to kind of like want to check on things in the back of the book and I have really just read spoilers before so I highly don't recommend that habit. That is a bad reader habit. Question number 10 is breaking the spine or keeping a book like new and I have to say when I was a kid and I was first getting into reading I used to be a menace when it came to my books like I truly was hellish like I would throw away dust jackets. My whole Harry Potter collection I for some reason at age like eight decided that the dust jackets did not serve me as a person and I just threw them away in the trash and my mom was like where did the covers for these books go and I was like we didn't need those because honestly when you're physically reading a hardcover the dust jackets get in the way like when I do read a book I will put the dust jacket off to the side to like keep it pristine and then I read the book but I'd have to say nowadays I would never break a spine I only really buy physical books if it is a favorite of mine and typically I'm buying it to kind of display on my bookshelf again because I mostly listen to audiobooks count how many times I've said that in this video it's annoying I know but yeah, so I would say I'm now more into keeping my books pristine. I kind of feel like that's a booktube thing. Like a lot of us, I feel like probably didn't care about our books before. Like we were probably like dog earring pages, like writing in the margins. And now we're probably all like, gotta keep them like holy and pure. And that leads me into question number 11, which is do you write in your books? So I was just saying that I feel like most people wouldn't write in their books, but I guess the people who really enjoy annotating, highlight things and write things, I am not one of those people. Like. Number one, I hate my handwriting. I don't want to ever see my handwriting on anything in front of my eyes ever unless I have to. So I would never ever write in a book that I want to keep beautiful. The only writing I ever want in a book is probably the signature from the author if I got it signed. But yeah, it's a big no for me. I don't think that I am the type to want to write or annotate. I love that people do that. Like whenever people make those videos where like how I annotate books and they like show their little tabs, like it's very satisfying and I love that but not for me. I'm not, an, I'm not an annotator. That brings us to the end of this tag. Let me know down below your answers to these questions. I would love to have a conversation about it, see if we have anything in common or anything that you might do different. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this tag. It's been a while since I've done one. If you have any other recommendations for tags that you'd like to see me do, then totally let me know. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day.
Thank you.